mad. It's all mad. The day has finally arrived. Europa League final. I wasn't nervous until now. The whole build up to this game, I was like, yeah, all right, we've got Chelsea. Excuse how I look, by the way. I was like, yeah, we've got Chelsea, London derby in Baku. I know we spoke about it so many times, the lack of fans from both clubs that are there. It's almost half an hour away till kickoff and the stadium not even half full. So uh, that says a lot about the location. You're ready for her to blame there. But hopefully, I don't, know, I don't know what to expect, you know. There's been the whole Petr Cech topic of discussion, having the Chelsea legend in goal, but we have to realise he is a professional. Although he may be going to, oh, it's been announced that he's going to Chelsea as a director of football there. He is an Arsenal player at this current time. So any player that plays on the pitch, especially in a final, wants to win. No matter what team they're on, they want their team to win. So I'm pretty sure he's going to put in a professional effort today and hopefully Arsenal come back with a trophy and we get a win because, yo, this is like the most important game in for Arsenal in a very, very long time. So, of course, I'm not in Baku tonight. I wish I was. I don't go to many away games anyway. But credit to all the Arsenal fans and Chelsea fans that made it out there. I know it's been a crazy trip getting out there. But the stadium looks amazing. Baku, Azerbaijan looks absolutely amazing. I wish I was there. But instead, I'll be watching the game from a relative's house. So I'll be giving you my reaction from here. And hopefully, by the end of this video, I will be ecstatic with joy because we will be champions of Europe. You know what I was about to say? The only reason I know where Baku is and why I've heard of Baku, Azerbaijan is because I was watching the program on BBC Race Across the World. I was, the program's sick if you haven't heard of it. Go check it out. Might still be an iPlayer. So when I heard the finals in Baku, I was like, oh my God, Race Across the World. If you've watched it, if you know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Um, the Flaming Towers, that was the checkpoint, is where I believe the players are staying. I know some of AFT, the AFTV lot are staying there. So yeah, man. It was nice to see that reference, but yeah, it's too far. It's just so unideal. So the players are lining up just before the kickoff, and immediately my immediate reaction is looking at Maitland Niles' face. He doesn't look ready. This is clearly his first European final, a big final for him, first time starting. And then look at Chelsea starting 11, and I see Olivia Giroud there coming towards the end. And I, I just think he's going to score one against us. That is my immediate reaction, just by the look on their faces. But hopefully, I'm wrong. Oh! Oh! Kalashinach! He made the right one. It was, everything was perfect. But it got too tight. Oh, man. Come on, guys. We need the first goal. We need to get it. Get the ball oh, rolling. Ah! Oh! What's going on? Like is it? Why did you drop? What's he pointing to? Sorry, baby. What's he pointing to? Is it a penalty? Why is the referee pointing? Oh, this is a mess. Great header, brought it down by, Maitland Niles brought it down with a header. <laughs> and it turned into a through ball to Lacazette. And then Lacazette tripped over Kepa. Oh, he went down easy, man. Not a penalty, though. Not a penalty. Big man, what's going on, UEFA? I'm already annoyed at you for this whole ticket allocation stadium thing, yeah? But now, my boy Lacazette's one-on-one -on -one with Aspila Quetta. Yeah? Aspilicueta's lifting up, dragging his shirt. Is no one seeing this? Is Alano not seeing this? Is nobody seeing this? This should have been two fouls by now. We should have had the penalty beforehand. And now this in the box, he's grabbing up Lacazette's shirt. Come on. It's looking positive from us, I can't lie. We're having a few chop. Ooh! Xhaka! Oh my days. I know he can do it on his day, but it didn't go in to... Oh. <laughs> it didn't go in today, boy. Xhaka with the long range. Chelsea have now entered the game. They're doing a madness on us. Eden Hazard is trying to twist up players. He had a couple of shots. It's looking a bit mad now. Yeah? They have now woken up. The lion has awoken. But I ain't worried. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. First half done. Not quite sure what to say about that. Obviously, the two penalties that we were denied. To think at the starting lineup, I was judging by the look on their faces when they were lining up and I thought that Maitland Niles wouldn't be ready for a game like this but he has been by far the best player on that pitch for the most half of that first half um, so I've been really impressed with him Socrates as well so disappointed that we were denied those two penalties but you know it's looking positive for Arsenal I'm, st I'm still not that confident but I'm more confident than I was before the whistle blew uh, in the first half but um yeah, man, Chelsea have woken up, though, and Eden Hazard is playing like he's got some real points to prove. He's playing like the Hazard we know, and, uh, yeah, we don't want to see that. But Socrates is putting him to a stop. I like that Kalashnikov is stopping his play as well. Uh, but, yeah, man, 
it's still nil nil we need some goals in the second half and they need to be from arsenal oh my days oh my days oh my didn't i tell you didn't i tell you Giroud would score didn't i say Giroud would score look at it look, look at me look at me i'm stressed oh try no. not to celebrate you know you know you want to celebrate you know you want to celebrate oh man i wanted a goal there it is he's not an arsenal player anymore so it's the wrong side mate oh check couldn't get to it on time you're not stopping those. Oh, his head as well. Bullet header. Do you know what's annoying me the most about this? Yeah, we've gone one nil down, and the reaction from the players, the reaction from the players are like they feel defeated already. If you look on everyone's faces, Lacazette, even Abama Yangs. Well, actually, just those two. To be fair, everyone else still sees like their heads in the. Everyone still sees like their heads in the game. But the look on Lacazette's face feels like he's given up already. Like there's still 50, 40 minutes to go. Why are we behaving like this? This is not a winner's mentality. Yo, 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 yo. Game over. All right, cool. It's game over. 59 minutes, 2 0. Game done. Game done. Game's actually done. It's actually done. What are you saying? Agent check or no? Let me know what you know. I say it is an agent check or no. Okay. What's Sari writing down in his notes? Like you, you're winning 2 0 in the final. Party done. Party done. Party done. Party done. Stop with the celebrating, you, you, you. Oh, what? Oh, what? Why are you crying? I can see you crying. He's crying. Oh no 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 Oh so we're two nil down. Oh my days. It's it's now a Chelsea penalty. We're two nil down, potentially three nil. Every Arsenal fan in the stand is covering their heads, covering their face. Ed and Hazard takes obviously I'm not even gonna watch still. And it's three nil. We've, we've lost badly we've lost this final badly it's not even a close final we've lost this so badly this is so embarrassing we've lost this so badly and there's still so much time to go and i don't even feel confident we'll get back in this we've lost this badly man how is that even a penalty we were denied penalties in the first half show me that again how did maitland Niles even fail him Pereira's come off the pitch crying. That just says it all. You are being yo! How did a man come on and score a goal like that? You know what I just said before I started filming? I'm not even going to get gassed if you get one goal back, but it won't be! Hey! Yo, it won't be. You know what they're all going to say now? Why didn't he start? The guy that they're always criticising, the guy that they said that we need to sell, comes on and scores a one and only goal so far in the final. And what a goal! Yo! It won't be Neo! That's what they call him. I know Kalechi is going to be gassed. I know Kalechi is going to be gassed. Yeah, you rubbish keeper. <laughs> oh, Alexi Wobi. Oh, Alexi Wobi. Hey, they say wobi has got no end product. How's that for end product? How is that for end product? Yo, what I'm about to say, nobody is going to like, yeah? Because I am one of the biggest Aubameyang fans. But he has been shocking today. And he just caused our fourth goal that Eden Hazard just scored. Aubameyang, I don't know what the hell he's doing on the left there. Trying to dribble past players because he thinks he's Eden Hazard when he's not. Because he can't dribble. And he should have played the ball and he didn't. And he got intercepted. And then Chelsea get a fourth. Aubameyang, what are you doing there? The ball just, the ball just got stolen off him. Eden Hazard went, oh, he did go all the way. Played it to Giroud. Giroud played it back. Finish. Boom. Four. What, well, you thought we were coming back? Because the Robbie scored a goal. <laughs> they thought we were coming back, babe. We're not, we're not coming back. We're not coming back. We, we flew. They flew all those thousand miles to Baku. And they're going back home empty-handed. I said they. I don't even feel like an Arsenal fan no more. I'm so disappointed in this. I expected more. I didn't feel like we were going to get battered like this. I thought if we were going to lose, it would be at least 2-1. 
not for one and they they ain't even finished yet they're not even done yet you know the funniest thing was yeah because uh mickey hasn't come for obvious reasons and aaron ramsey's no longer with us i kept thinking to myself who is emery gonna sub off Urzel for because we all know he loves to sub him off and he doesn't play him for a full 90. joe willock i didn't see that coming i know he's flown out i know he's on the bench i know he's an option but i didn't think he was going to use him at all the four one down and at 76 minutes Emery has taken off Ozil for Joe Willock. This is absolutely mental. Nothing against Joe Willock, obviously, but obviously he's a very young, inexperienced player to play in the Europa League final. Madness. Absolute madness. The only positive I have to say about this game, Joe Willock, promising talent. He looks quality on the ball. I'm sure most of you know that already. I was shocked to see Emery bring him on, but I can understand why now. Although he didn't get the goal. He looks like a promising talent for the future, for next season. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I have no other words. There's three minutes at a time, but clearly we've lost this game. There's no comeback story today. Not like there was in the Champions League a few weeks ago. It's not, it's not happening. Uh, but yeah, I honestly have no words to describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm really trying to mask my emotions so I don't end up looking like an idiot on YouTube. Or even more of an idiot. <laughs> but... This is a really, really embarrassing loss for for a final. 4-1 is it's just a disgrace, really. It's not even a close final. To think in the it's a literally a game of two halves. To think in the first half it was nil-nil, kind of 60-40, swaying to more of our advantage. I feel like there was a lot of media. I don't know how to put this, but like before the game, there was all this talk of Kante. He's got a knee knock. He's got an injury on his knee. He looks perfectly fine to me. I feel like that was a way to just unsettle us a bit. To think, all right, we'll, we'll go in this calm. They're key players. Ruben Loftus Cheek, Kante, uh, Sari's getting all emotional. I always thought that was a ploy because he was getting all emotional on a media day where he knew there was cameras there and he was throwing his cap and doing all this. So it's making us feel like there's an unsettled camp at Chelsea and everything's going all wrong. But they seem fine and they've really showed it here because they've come out and won 4 1. They scored four goals in the second half. Could have been six goals in the second half. And it's just, I'm really embarrassed. Really, really embarrassed. I know that the Arsenal players look so... <laughs> I don't want to say depressed, but they look really down about this. Especially Maitland-Niles. I know I keep mentioning the young players. This is a lot of pressure for someone this age. But you're a professional athlete. This is your job. You play for a big team. You're in the Europa League final. He's done well in the first half. But um, I, I don't know what else to say, man. I'm really disappointed in our key players. Socrates, player of the match for me, obviously not for the match in general, because I'm sure that will go to Eden Hazard, but for an, an Arsenal perspective, Socrates was the man today. Um, that's it. Game done. The whistle's just been blown. We've won. We've lost 4-1 to Chelsea. Absolutely embarrassing. We've had the harder route to the final, beating teams like Napoli, Valencia... And I know Petr Cech's probably thinking that everyone's going to get on to him, saying that he let those goals in on purpose. He already knows what's coming his way, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he tried his best. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man. Let me know what you think in the comments down. Willock, I don't know why Willock looks so down. I know your team just lost, but you came on, made an absolute difference to the team. So did Awobi. If anyone's going to feel it, I feel like it's going to be a Bamiyang Lekazette because that's where all the pressure has been put on their shoulders in the lead-up to this game. Everyone's been relying on them. Uh, and not one of them scored, so I feel like they're really going to feel it, and I'm sure they're going to get some type of backlash or whatever, you know, as some fans are. But um, we go again, Europa League three years in a row. We thought it would have been our year, because Unai Emery's a man for the Europa League, he's won it three times, this could have been his fourth, but it just wasn't meant to be. I'm really rambling on now, I'm going to go, because uh, this is what I do when I'm... I don't even know what the word is to describe my emotions right now, I'm just chatting away. Yeah, I'm out. We're out. We're out of the Europa League. It's done. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say? No. We were in a Champions League final uh, and we lost. You'll know the worst thing that could happen after this is Spurs winning the Champions League. Oh my days. I don't even want to begin to imagine. <laughs> Let's not even talk about it. Liverpool, I'm handing it over to you. You never walk alone and all of that. I'm backing you all the way.